Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Doing a little sort of a review video, I guess. I bought a better shaper, hiller, whatever you want to call it, on internet, on internet, on the internet from a company. And I'm doing some review reading on it. Some people are like, oh, it's a horrible company, don't buy anything from them. Others were like, no, they're okay. So I thought maybe I'd throw something out there. If this works out great, then you know, it's a positive review for the company, so whatever. So let me uh, do this and I'll be right back. Okay, so the better hiller, shaper, whatever you want to do, makes a little raised bed so you can put like garlic and you can do potatoes and stuff like that in it. So didn't have one, needed one, really didn't have anything to compare to it and it would have all been done by like a rake and that one's not gonna happen. Um, so let me throw up a picture here, show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is uh, the header, the hiller, hiller, can't speak English today, that I bought. And then it basically does a raised bed, something like this. So that's what I bought. And I got it the other day. It came FedEx Freight. Um, really great. Came on time. Like uh, they, when they said FedEx actually called a couple of days before, the day before, and set up the delivery time. Uh, I had a, uh, a drop gate and put it right there um, in the driveway. So that was pretty cool. So here is what I got. Um, it, the only difference is that it was wrapped in some plastic that went around sort of thankfully to hold everything together because there are actually some parts that um, came off. This metal thing, I saw, this isn't made in the United States. I'm sure it's made in China. And that company packages this together in the company that I bought from the palletfork.com, the Titan implement. Just, you know, they get them in and they sell them. So it's bent up in shipping, but that's okay. It looks like everything was there and the plastic held everything in place. You see this came out um, and it's just these wires that hold everything together. So this is it. This is what it comes um, comes like, comes on the pallet. If you got forks on your tractor, you could easily move it around wherever. I just pushed it up from over there with my bucket. And so I think I'm going to start getting this taken apart i don't think i'm going to get it put together today because i've got to go and get my midterm finished for my emt class so oh hi fluffy did you come to join the party no coming to agitate el doggo all right so i am i've been my helpers have arrived dog one dog two so um i got it all taken out of the little metal thing that it came in and all the the metal binding that was in there and uh, had uh, information about a warranty and a little Ziploc bag on it and uh, it's a one-year warranty on it so you go activate that at their website it says it was designed in Tennessee so that's pretty cool one thing it does say free shipping there except I had to pay like a $50 special handling fee so it wasn't exactly free but it sort of was um, then they have an online manual there you I guess you use that code um, or that's the the website that you go to for the disc better and this is is the 60 inch model that's what that 60 probably designates it's uh, 60 inches across then it ha comes with a little parts diagram sort of if you can figure that out how to put it together um, from that and if you're uh, if you if you have an understanding of how implements work I think it's pretty straightforward anyway at least we'll see so yeah, I got it all taken apart. So got my two discs here and here and got my chisel points that plow up behind the tractor wheels, keep it loose. Got my little furrow maker right there for making a, a hole in the center of the, uh, of the raised bed. And uh, those are the brackets that hold the uh, chisel points in there and the spring teeth, whatever those are. And uh, got big U-bolts for it. So basically um, all this stuff, bolts onto that and that more or less is a toolbar a three-point toolbar so if you wanted to and you were so inclined after you've got your raised beds going and everything you could probably put i don't know weeders finger weeders on there whatever i mean it's just a basic toolbar um, of course the thing is you got to swap everything out and that takes time but you know got an impact a cordless impact and soon you could probably get that stuff whipped off there pretty quick but there you go. That's it. That's where I think I'm going to stop this evening because it's a couple hours till class and I sort of got to get degrubbed and I got to uh, get some dinner and maybe do a little crash studying with the group before midterm. 
be back tomorrow. All right, so I'm back. It's a couple days later, actually. Did have my EMT exam midterm the other night. Got a, like an 89 on it, so passed. But uh, take care of that, so that was cool. Got busy yesterday. Actually got a bunch of cover crop in. Went and got some winter oats to put in. I was wanting winter rye, but they didn't have winter rye, so settled for winter oats. So got that put on here and uh, at another buddy's place to do a little cover crop. And so back to my project. I got got to get have to get garlic in today up over there we'll go up there later because there's a hundred percent chance of rain tomorrow and i'm afraid if it gets wet and being you know november 10th today that uh, garlic won't get in so it's got to get in today got my tractor over here to start putting this together i'm not going to go through a step-by-step -step. um it's pretty straightforward uh, at least i think the pins will go in here to attach to the arms of my tractor and then all this stuff just bolts on so for example these uh mount to those well that's gonna mount right up there with some of those u-bolts and it basically is the same for all this stuff so have a chinook inbound from that direction they're coming out of atterbury which is to the north they're coming south and then they actually take a 90 degree turn over my buddy's place over there and start heading east over my place and head over to Muscatatuck Urban Training Center over there. There's some special operations guys in town, so I've heard. Looking for that Chinook to come over the tree line. Could probably hear it. Yep, there it is right there, coming over the trees right here. about dead overhead. It's a little quieter today. Yeah, I'd be within the rotors if it was on the ground. It's headed over to Muscatatuck Urban Training Center. Came south out of Atterbury, turned to the east, and now it's headed east to uh, Muscatatuck. So, got the Basically the toolbar on the tractor on the three-point hitch had to lift the rops up get it out of the way So I could get in there and not bang my head. So basically what you have right here is a toolbar It is what is it 60 inches across? I got a 48 inch wide tractor And then this is 60 inches across they sell a 48 inch version of this But it's not I don't think it's set up as like a toolbar setup but I went ahead and got this one because I could, uh, if I get a bigger tractor, I want a bigger one. So now I've got my platform to work on to start putting my braces on and do my measurements and different things like that with the U-bolt. Halfway done, a little over halfway done. I guess that's, that's like on both sides. Anyway, got the disc on. I got this on. My tractor is a little bit narrower, so this ideally would go directly in line with your tire, which is like right here. But it's out here because of this is spacing. I don't know exactly what the spacing needs to be from here to here. So I'm just sort of going with what it had in the pictures on the website, which is put right here. And then, so you can change the height of this disc. You can also change the angle that it sits at, which would, I suppose, pile more dirt or less dirt or however. And then you can change the height of this as well and change this height as well. And then all that stuff over there goes on and we'll be done. So halfway through, let me get to wrenching and get this on and then we'll go up and try and make some raised beds. It's all put together and fairly straightforward. It would have been nice if I would have had a big socket and impact wrench. It would have zipped those things on really quick. But I didn't and, and made do. A couple of notes about it. Um, here's the, the website upside down. Uh, palletforks.com titan attachments so they got their sticker on there seems to be fairly well put together pretty good welding it looks like all around the paint is pretty thick paint except there's some places there where the paint there must have been some grease or something on there 
when they painted it and then there's some areas where like right there and there and uh down here over here it looks like it got scratched in shipment but yeah here's a here's a big spot right there that got the paint got scratched on it so probably I'll, I'll go through and just touch that up get some paint on that bare metal uh, is all i'm really concerned about i mean yeah it'd be nice if it didn't have any paint flaws on it but it does so it is what it is and you know the shipping shipping was cheap and whatever so not really complaining about it just an observation that there are some flaws in the paint but it is a nice thick coat of paint on there and uh, all the welding seem good they've welded the nuts on to these things here uh all in all i think if you were a if you were a, a fairly good welder or just a good welder you could probably put all this stuff together yourself which may be something i'll try it's pretty straightforward but everything's on got both discs on i think i have them to the right height looks like the height that they were on the pictures on the website so time to go up to the field and see about bedding all right so Got the first row. I didn't put the furrower down. I think that's what the middle thing is, the furrower down. I just sort of made the bed. And now I've got started on my second row and I'm gonna adjust that furrower. And it should, hopefully what I'm hoping it does is it just sort of takes the top off and levels it out a little bit. We'll see. I uh, got the 1025R, the John Deere 1025R pulling this and uh, I'm in low gear, I'm not in four-wheel drive, and uh, it pulls it at an idle with no problem at all. I tilled through this a couple of days ago, did a light tilling, then I spread some fertilizer and I came back and I did another tilling this morning, and uh, I'm having no problems at all with this little little 25 horsepower tractor pulling this. So I'm really happy and really pleased. So I'm going to drop the furrower and do the rest of this and I'll come back show you guys the progress pretty impressed so far So I've got all of this done. I've got all the beds made up, raised up on here. And I'm going back over a row that I didn't think was quite right. I had that set too deep. I brought it up a little bit. It seems to be doing a lot better job. And just sort of knocking the top down and the top of the row, you see right here, making a little, little furrow in there. So what basically goes on here is this is dropped all the way down on my 1025R. And the spacing is the disc is all the way against the uh, frame here, and then the uh, this one is over here next to it, as close as it can get in there. And I found if I put these in the opposite row, like when I go down and turn around and come back the other direction, that I have a three foot width on my bed, which is is what I prefer. Although, I don't know, I'm thinking about going to four. But at any rate, so you have, have these set in at about a 45 degree angle. And these basically just push the dirt in and comes out here on the back and forms your raised bed. And then this furrows it. And then these come through and they dig up behind where your tractor was at to keep stuff from getting compacted. Uh, I did find that I just need to leave it on idle and I can put the go forward. Um, as fast as I can at an idle. If I go faster, it seems to overload my discs and doesn't form as good of a bed. And I also think that the soil conditions are really, really important. These have some clods in them and it has some weeds in it. So I think if it could have dried for a couple more days and being more powdery, it'd probably form a lot better bed. But I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. So I'm gonna finish this row out and I'm going to go get my garlic. I'm going to start planting. All right, let's wrap this thing up. So I have the Hiller Better Shaper, whatever you want to call, uh, review done, I guess. And you guys walked through that with me today, putting it together and getting it from uh, Titan Attachments. Uh, the website's palletforks.com. And this Hiller 
better shape or whatever you want to call it the uh, the six the six foot model um, it's pretty good uh, I had mixed reviews when I read them about the company on the internet but you know getting online and ordering it wasn't too bad it even said it was back ordered and it'd be like the middle of November before it would ship and within a couple of days it was shipping uh, shipped FedEx Express and it took four or five days I don't know it wasn't an unreasonable amount of time to get here truck backed in dropped it off right there in my driveway with a uh, with the uh, the lift the lift gate on the back of the truck worked pretty well uh, went together pretty good and uh, you know I got 12 rows done I've got four rows of garlic already planted got a big tub of garlic right here ready to ready to go in and uh, that'll plant about two rows I think is what I got out of it but pulled really well on the 1025 R and I don't know I'm pretty impressed I I like it um, I can't wait to do more with it uh, come springtime and uh, do potatoes with it probably do a review when I do potatoes with it um, have to maybe adjust it in or out a little bit I'm not sure we'll just see um, it looks like though just how it's set up with you know removing this and uh, maybe dropping it down a little bit to compensate for the height of uh, tomato plants or something I don't know we'll see but it worked pretty good so I'm going to give it a thumbs up the company um, shipped uh, good on time it came right to me it went together pretty good. Only thing, like I talked about, was the paint. Pager's going off. County View, Hamilton Township. I need you to respond to 9088 North, counter of 700 East, 9088 nope, North. Nope, not us, Hamilton Township. So. Into a tree, believe it's blown up. It's 1070 at this time. Car into a tree, believe yeah. it's blown up. Believe it's on fire at this time. People are out of it. All right. So the paint, a little bit of issue, but you know, it shipped and then things are going to, going to get like that. Uh, nothing that can't be uh, touched up in a few minutes with, uh, with some paint there. So, Hey, I'm going to give it a thumbs up on the company, thumbs up on the shipping and thumbs up on the actual implement. Got any questions or comments, put them down below. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's probably over there somewhere. And, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Off of a company called Mike. Yes, investigate for a possible 1055 southbound on Jonesville Road for Grove Farm Plan.